Hi traders and welcome to What's Moving in the Forex Market. Brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. Please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. And also as a reminder, Pristine offers an excellent series of free webinars each and every single week. Here you can see what's on top for this coming week. And for a full schedule, go to www.pristine.com. Taking a look at where things are at, we've got Euro US dollar in the upper left. And again, as we've discussed in previous videos, it has largely been sideways. We talked in last week's video about these lower highs and lower lows, which had been forming and was an indication of potential weakness. Uh, and we did get that early in the week, but we actually have started forming a higher low at this point. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of follow through this may or may not have. If it fails, then this prior low right down here is really going to be a non-issue and will likely see price moving even further to the downside. So all in all, pretty much the same deal here in that you've got to have more conservative targets. There is no clear, decisive trend in place. And so for that reason, you want to have more conservative targets with any intraday patterns that you may see setting up. From a daily perspective, there's really nothing clean, so I wouldn't look to trade this chart from a daily point of view. Moving on over to the Aussie dollar, US dollar in the middle upper chart. You can see that we had been in a pretty steady downtrend. I mean, it was a little choppy. It was a bit of a bleed, but a steady downtrend nonetheless. Supply continued to overwhelm demand. And so for that reason, intraday opportunities to get short at areas of resistance or on breakdowns followed through quite well. Uh, recently, uh, this past week, we've seen a bit of a change in that. It wasn't as weak. We had a strong push up into resistance. Little bit of weakness came in here. We formed a little, uh, you know, basically a doji type R and a narrow bodied candle where you've got tails on either end. And then on Friday, we started to get some follow through higher to that candle. So there may be a bit of a shift taking place here. And uh, this pair, Aussie US dollar, looking to move a bit higher. If we look at the weekly chart, um, a little bit of a retracement here wouldn't be terrible. You know, this this is into resistance as you just saw in the daily time frame, and we'll take a quick look at again before moving on. But this could, uh, based on the weekly chart, rally up into this 0 0.7608 area, and then resume the downtrend so so that is something we want to pay attention to from a weekly perspective but going back to the daily you can see once again it's into this resistance so it's going to be interesting to see how well we push through this area if we push through it at all it could be a little choppy or we could just blast right through it but if we do again this is going to be the next area of resistance to look at based on the weekly time frame. Um, in between that area, in between where we are now and up here, there could certainly be some nice opportunity. So this, this is potentially transitioning. We're going to have to watch it as this coming week begins to unfold. New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar had been, again, also like Aussie U.S. dollar in a steady downtrend. And we are possibly seeing a bit of a, a transition taking place here as well. Not as clear or obvious, but holding this prior low and getting a bit of a push up here as we close things out on Friday. So maybe we can push back up towards the top of this range or even a little bit higher. That is something we're going to want to pay attention to because if you look at the four hour chart, you know, it, it is trying to move up. It's penetrated into this resistance and does have some room even a little bit higher. So again, something to watch. We could be dealing with a bit of a transition here. The daily is, uh, is doing its best to try and make a push up. So Short term, we may be seeing a bit more demand. Longer term, it'll be interesting to see how this coming week plays out. But that'll that'll give us the next little bit of information to then decide uh, what is most likely to happen. And just a quick look at the weekly. You know, 
we close with this bottoming tail here, it, it may need to retrace a little bit. And that wouldn't be unhealthy from a weekly point of view. This trend is still decisively down. So to get a little bit of a retracement wouldn't be a terrible thing. It'll just offer us an, the next opportunity to get short for what could be another wave to the downside. But um, as that unfolds, and as we were just discussing, the potential to trade that to the upside off of the smaller time frames is certainly beginning to take some shape. Moving down here, bottom right, US dollar yen. This one, uh, you know, it's slowly been grinding its way up here. We, we talked in previous videos how um, I've been looking at this in a more bullish perspective. And in large part, that is because of the weekly, which we'll take a look at in a moment. But you can see here, there was an attempt to move down, failed, came back up, tried to push higher, uh, had some news that came out on Friday, which uh, weakened the dollar and it, it came in, as you can see, but it is into this support. So it's, it's again, an area that should hold if the larger time frames are going to continue to prevail. Um, it has, however been somewhat sloppy and erratic so we'll have to see i mean again i continue to be bullish on this because of the weekly which you can see here having pulled back into support high or low now it's trying to make its way back up and um, what we may assume becomes a higher high we'll have to see but it's trying to work its way up here time will tell but you're going to want to just follow the the trend which at this point on the daily is up not convincingly so but it is it is more bullish than it is bearish we're into support so i do expect buyers to start stepping up moving on over to the left us dollar canadian dollar this has been in a very nice uptrend on the daily time frame uh, just beaut beautiful move higher breakout here little continuation here that resulted in a pullback but again it stabilized higher low higher high and now it's been pulling back the latter part of last week forming what may develop into another higher low if we look at the weekly time frame this continues to move higher and it's not extended it's not climactic so it could certainly continue to move on to higher the daily chart as we just looked at suggests that is possible uh, so bullish on this pair uh, you know there's really no information or reason to suggest that we shouldn't be a little bit of a deep move lower here into this this previous support um, it, it didn't move up as convincingly away from this moving average which is an 8 ema as it had in the past but uh, the, these are little little bits of information you want to be aware of um, but not anything to, to suggest that we're in any um, possibility or or there's any threat of this failing at the moment and if we just drill down to the four hour a bit of a, a volatility for sure but we'll have to see as i said there was some news that came out that threw through the dollar around a little bit you can see that being reflected in this uh, candle right here so we'll see how everything begins to settle in for this coming week but overall you, you know, you have to be more bullish than bearish on this pair until we get information to suggest otherwise. So right now, the daily chart being in, up, in an uptrend tells us that we want to lean a bit more bullish. And finally, pound US dollar. This one continues to really just chop around sideways with, with no... Um, desire to really go anywhere in a hurry it's just range bound here it tried to break under the bottom of this range but put in a bottoming tail so while the break was an indication of weakness the fact that this was unable to close below that range tells us that buyers did start stepping up and now there is the potential for this to rally all the way back up to the prior high and i'll tell you what if it can get there we'll have this failed breakdown with a strong rally to the top of the range, which in many cases will ultimately result in a break above the top of the range. So that'll be interesting. That'll be a, a storyline for pound US dollar that we're gonna wanna watch. Or the other scenario is that this forms maybe a, a little bit of a lower high and then continues to fall lower. So either way, we're getting closer to what I believe will be a, a, an inflection point, so to speak, where we're going to get a move out of this range one way or the other. 
based on the weekly chart, it suggests to look for a price to, to be moving to the upside based on this strong move up, higher low, higher high. Here's a higher low that's still trying to get itself in gear and move higher. But we'll see how this all plays out uh, again based on the daily it does appear as though we're getting closer to an inflection point and and we're just going to have to watch and see how this all plays out a lower high could suggest um, trouble while a move all the way back up towards the top of the range could tell us that buyers are looking to really regain control of this and make a more decisive push to the upside where we could then see a nice move up towards this 1.5883 area which would be a very nice move overall. So time will tell. We'll see what happens. Um, you know, we'll, we'll update the information as it comes to us. Again, as I said, if you have some time throughout the week, make sure to stop in for our free webinars. But until the next video, you can always um, email me directly, Kurt at pristine.com, or you can comment in the comment section below and also make sure to like and subscribe so that you can continue to receive future updates to videos that we release here. But in the meantime, as always, stay patient, stay disciplined, and stay confident.